Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. In this video, I'm going to explain you about the steps required to create, to select, to alter, to delete a stock group. In the last video, I've explained you what are the different inventory reports that will be prepared under Tally ERP 9. So this unit which I'm discussing now is unit number two. That is maintaining stock keeping units. In this all related to inventory masters we are discussing. So in this video, I am going to discuss about the uh, creation, selection, altering or deletion of stock group. So hope you have already watched the earlier videos of this unit number two. If you have not watched, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject computerized accounting. Select the unit number two. Watch the earlier videos. Get a good command on maintaining stock keeping units. Before uh, going to explain you about this concept, I suggest my viewers to take a screenshot of the notes which I have uh, written on the board so that you can keep a permanent copy of it and just before examination if you have a glance of the steps then definitely you can do very good in examination. Take a screenshot then I will explain. Huh. So now I'm going to explain you what are the steps required to create, to create a stock group. So creation of stock group. There are two methods, two steps to create a stock group in Tally ERP 9 which are as follows. So two methods are there for creating the stock group. The first method is creation of single stock group and creation of multiple stock group. So these two methods are there of creating stock groups. First we'll discuss about creation of single stock group. So what are the steps? The first step double click on Tally ERP 9 to open it. First of all on your desktop on your desktop select Tally ERP 9 and double click it. It will open. From the company info select click on the select company. So first of all from the company info you select the company. Then third step, after selecting the company of your choice, click the inventory info. Step by step you remember, first open the tally ERP9, then select the company info, select the company you want to enter and then select the inventory info. After selecting the company, you have to select the inventory info. Under inventory info, click on stock group. When you uh, press enter inventory info, you will get the screen. On that screen, select stock group. Then click on create under single stock group. After selecting the stock group, select single stock group. Create creation of single stock group. Then fill the particulars in stock group creation screen. The particulars are. So when you are having the screen of stock group creation, stock group creation in that stock group creation screen the fields required are the first field name it will it is asking you the name to so give the name of the group which you want to create name of the group then alias if you want to give additional name to your stock group if necessary if you want to give some additional name it is it is optional whether you can give a alias or not it depends on you the additional name of this stock group if you want to give then you can give it alias third one under in this field of under what you have to enter while entering data in this field a pop-up list is shown from which any one option will need to be selected usually two options primary and subgroups so in this enter when you are in enter a pop-up window will come in this two options will be shown primary and subgroup now you have to select you want to create a primary subgroup a primary stock group or you want to make a subgroup here you have to decide the next field on this screen will be should quantities be added there yes or no two options are given so if you want the quantities to be added you have to select yes so normally we select yes so these are the fields which you have to fill up in the 
screen of stock group creation stock group creation screen these are the fields you have to fill up that's all after filling up all these fields your account your stock group is created under single mode and under single mode now in multiple creation of multiple stock group so how to create a multiple stock group step one open tally erp9 as usual click on select the company and select the company of your choice then click on inventory info as usual same steps we are following select inventory info under gateway of tally then click the stock groups option in this stock group option you have to select multiple stock group not single here we are selecting multiple stock group then after this select the parent under group under which you want to create new group that means this multiple group will be created only when you have the parent group so multiple stock group creation consists of the following fields now when you open multiple stock group creation the fields which you have to fill up are first it will ask you name of the stock group so enter the stock group name first of all then under the parent group selected in the under group field must be specified here that means this subgroup what you are making should be under which parent group that you have to write under then third one is should quantities be added here as usual we have to select yes if you want the quantities to be added after pressing yes press enter for accept then the, uh, the multiple stock group is created so we have i have explained you about how to create the stock group under single mode and how to create the stock group under multiple mode creation is over now the second topic next topic is alteration how to alter the stock group alteration of a stock group open tally erp9 as usual click on select company and select the company of your choice in which you want to so, yeah, groups in which groups are created because already stock group is created now you want to make the alteration in that stock group click on inventory info as usual under the gateway of tally click on stock group you are going to alter the stock group so click on stock group option step 5 click on alter in this stock group options we have different fields in this one of the option is alter option so select the alter option under single group then a list of stock groups are shown from the list select the group which uh, you want to alter then make required changes and click yes to accept so when you press alter it will show you the stock group make all the changes in that the stock group and then press yes then whatever alterations you have done in that stock group that will be accepted by the tally ERP 9 alterations are over so these are the steps required for altering a stock group now deleting a stock group it's very easy to delete a stock group in order to delete the stock group we use the shortcut key alt plus D in the same mode so wherever you are wherever you want to remove the stock group there you press alt d then the group will be deleted but one thing you have to remember note a stock group which is used by any other subgroups of stock items cannot be deleted that means only the empty stock group can be deleted if a stock group is having subgroups or a stock group is having some stock items in that the stock group cannot be deleted until and unless that subgroups on stock items are deleted so first of all you have to remove all the stock items you have to remove all the subgroups then only the stock group can be deleted otherwise not it is not possible to delete a stock group from the multiple mode only under single mode we can delete a stock group in multiple mode we cannot delete a stock uh, stock group that's it so in this video i have explained you about the creation the alteration and the deletion of stock group inshallah i'll take up the next topic in the next video